four inches is not small. This is our improvised containment device. So What's up guys? It's Mega Cap time. So it's that time. First gen's going on. Time to tear into something else as well. Gonna have a ton of projects and stuff going on in here, but it is time to start the Mega Cap. Um, as you guys know, I'm building this as a toe slash show pig. Game plan for today is probably get the rear leaf blocks out so it's tooted. Uh, I think it'd make for a good thumbnail plus so it just take some pictures of it all and lean back and tooth like that. And then once we get that, we'll probably tackle some of the front bumper, headlights, grill, mirrors, the littler stuff because I'm still waiting on Ethan. When you watch this, I need your springs. Get the front lower down to know if I need anything else to order before we rip it all off and send it to powder. I already know the powder color I want to do. And um, obviously a ton of, ton of color match powder the whole night. So we're going to get to ripping the, I think they're, I think they're four inch blocks off the back and mega cab build, mega slab build begins. Success on this side, we got it at least. Um, those ones are all loose. The other side's been sitting in uh, PB blast. So hopefully this side goes a little better. Yes, all four of these ones also took red hot nuts. Seems to be how it always goes. So drop the U-bolts, lift this puppy up from the rear. All right. We've been battling for a minute, but blocks are out, both sides. Um, I gotta clean out the dirt in there so those two bottom bolts can sit into the axle and center itself. We're gonna clean those out and then can lower this, lower this thing down. It's crazy how big four inches really is. Four inches is not small. All right, boys, we're sitting down. Obviously, there's no U-bolt or anything, no new ones. This is just temporary, just to kind of see how it looks. Um, pretty sure we're tooted pretty good, but I'm just gonna back it out right here real slow and see how we're looking. Is it tooted or what? No, it's definitely tooted. Yeah, that is, that's nice. We've got this puppy leaning. Now, obviously this is temporary. Um, my dad's not here right now, but we're gonna get the bed pulled off tomorrow. I just wanted to pull the blocks out just to see how it would go. But she's definitely, she definitely tooted a little bit. Already looks so much better now though with the lift already taken off. These were the, culprits um, this one probably still warm as you can tell clearly bent and those threads were liquid so thanks to the good old torch we got that puppy off and these are never going back on tape measure up front 14 inches and in the rear 11 so three inch difference so I'd say the guys that like a little bit of lean, that'd probably be a pretty safe bet. If anyone wants a piece of crap from Silver Bed, let me know. Or if you know of a Silver 03 to 09 short bed, please let me know. Silver obviously preferred, 
but we'll take anything that's just ready for paint. They're obviously pretty hard to come by. That's a first. That is a dead bird on my headlight. That is disgusting. Um, wow. Love that. Love to see that. Bumpers off. I gotta get these off. So I gotta figure out which, how I gotta, if I gotta pull the inner cooler out a tad or something. Um, gotta get the grill off, and she'll be, she'll be gutted and dead tomorrow. <laughs> Another, another spare tire to add to the collection. Yeah, it's tooted. Nice. Thanks Dang, off. dude. Yeah. Been busy. <laughs> <laughs> She's gutted, so now we can. Just waiting on Ethan to give us some springs. Now we gotta move the vet. That's gonna be the first gen's home. Parking spot. Next for to the winter. The, yep. First gen will be outside. Pops his collection of Corvettes that he's never gonna finish. Goes I'm out gonna to finish the barn. in one day. Just too many projects going on. Out to the barn. Yeah, we have two trucks gutted this way. I know. That will be our project for the wind. So I'm gonna get that stuff moved around, maybe get the mega cab pulled back in and maybe start taking some stuff off the Guess that's one way to do it. resting place. <laughs> you make it sound like a grave, like we're yeah. at final resting place. Let's put the headstone on all again. Yep. She's oh, done. Stop. She's done for out here. Yeah, we'll get the dog stuff and kill the back stuff. Of course, it's always just one bolt. One bolt. Well, you, you just gotta feel lucky that it was just one and not all. Well, we don't four. know. Because we still have to do the hangers. Yeah, those are gonna be, those are always fun, but this this one bolt was a pain, but the rest came out relatively easy. All right, we got the back chilling. I still need to get the hitch off, but that's where we're kind of holding up the back. Try to get wheels and tires off. But most of the stuff on the back here has been taken off. Gotta get these old airbag mounts off, obviously the hitch, and then she should be good just to rough up and probably just like a red scotch bright pad and a little bit of touch up on the rougher stuff and we can get the paint out of that. But in the meantime, I'm gonna get started on some stuff up here in the front. Get this sway bar out of here, get that sway bar block out of here. Um, still waiting on Ethan for these and maybe look at some of this rough country steering and get my track bar probably and that track bar drop off of there and we're gonna have to do a new pitman arm as well but get rid of this get this powdered get the links powdered um, just get some more stuff up here off the front so hopefully when e gets me my springs we can get those thrown in to see height and go from there
regret in my decision to do powder coated leaf springs, but got that out. We don't need that. We just need the overloads off of the block. So I gotta get this one off here. And yeah, it's a lot of hammering. It's definitely, definitely a process. So slowly but surely we're just getting stuff knocked out. It's gonna be be one bad unit. All right guys, so update for you. It's now Saturday, so it's been roughly a week. Uh, we've been knocking some little miscellaneous stuff out here and there on the Mega. Uh, the other night we got some of the, we got the leaf spring bushings out. That was a pain, uh, took me a old. Took me and the old man about an hour and a half, two hours. So all the leaf springs are apart. We have a powder little place out there that all the stuff I'm taking to powder, but um, we've got the remainder of the steering stuff off. The steering arms and stuff are still there, but, and the control arms, the springs are still in here, but we're hoping to get, we tried last night, but we didn't have a spring compressor tool. So we went to AutoZone, grabbed this, special little unit hopefully it's strong enough to handle these springs but we're going to try and get the springs out and then set it down because as you can see six inch lift these are aftermarket control arms and the axle sits kind of closer to the cab than it did the bumper so i'm hoping we can take these out keep these control arms and the axle won't be too far forward and we can still reuse these i wouldn't mind a little bit forward so then i don't have to worry about hitting the cab with the wheels and tires but we're gonna try and get these springs out, and then I think everything for the mega cab is almost off. Get the control arms off, and then I got to figure out what I'm gonna do steering wise. I don't think I'm gonna use the Rough Country dual steering stabilizer. Probably get a Kelderman kit, or if there's a better kit out there. So really think I need to do crossover. It's kind of pricey, but we're gonna try and get these springs out, get these compressed so I can get them pulled out, and yeah, hold back ends. As you guys saw, shocks are out. I mean, everything's out. There's just pieces of wood back here. So, so I gotta get the air rings, air bag mounts out. But she's gutted. We're getting there. So let's try and get these springs out of here and go from there. Glad I caught that on video. It ain't gonna break. This is our improvised containment device. So we put the bucket down just to where I can still get my socket through here. And then we just, hold on, a little more. Okay, well, so that's our containment device. And then we just undo it and hope for the best. Springs are off. Wow, that was a process. Yeah. That's now a lot. we can set it down and that's yeah. a lot of work for yeah. two springs. Yeah. Now we can set it down and see how the axles yeah. gonna all look. Right. All over it. Hold on, let me straighten the tires. Good. Yeah, I think 
I'd say those are pretty, I mean, obviously we don't know exactly, but. I mean, that doesn't, I mean, it's pretty centered, right? Like yeah. Your, your center's about right here. I mean, you're pretty close to right over center. If Ethan would just get us our freaking spring. So do I you think wanna... these control arms should work just fine. Yeah, yeah, I think so too. Well, yeah, we can just put these on. Put the jack stands on the frame. Hopefully. Just, just for support, right? Yeah. In case something happens. But yeah, it looks like. Oh, he looks better. Much better, yeah. It's a mouse. Uh, in the yeah shop. Yeah, where the mount was. So a mouse and a bird. Mouse and a bird. I guess. Best friends. I guess. Uh, hopefully we don't find anything else in there. I never know though. I guess. Yeah. Well, no dice on getting the control arm bolts out one or two came out on the other side but this side all three of these ones are pretty pretty stuck in there so we're just gonna let them sit like pop said we're probably gonna put, turn them to liquid can't be stuck if they're liquid getting tons of stuff knocked out on this as you can see all the springs are out and stuff finally so she's coming along but that's it for this mega cab video thank you guys for watching take care of your 24 valves peace